As a YouTuber with nearly a million subscribers and several successful channels, there's a lot of things that I wish I knew when I first started on YouTube. Today, we're gonna to be diving into the seven steps you need to take to start your YouTube channel and start making money from day one. Yes, you heard that right, from day one. Now, I know what you're thinking, Shane, Come on, making money from day one, that's impossible. Well, my friends, impossible is just a word invented by people who are too scared to try. And by the end of this video, you'll see that not only is it possible, but it's totally doable. So grab your notepads, silence your phones, and let's dive in. Now, before we go through the steps, if this video fired you up to start your YouTube journey, smash that like button faster than you can say monetization. All right, let's kick things off with step number one, finding your niche. Now, I can already hear some of you groaning, but Shane, I don't have any special talents. Well, guess what? Neither did I when I started. I was just a pharmacy student drowning in debt and dreaming of a better life. But here's the secret. Your niche doesn't have to be something you're an expert in. It just needs to be something that you're passionate about or something you're willing to put in the work to get good at. But really, it helps to do something that gets you fired up and excited to create content. For instance, maybe you're obsessed with vintage antiques, or maybe you were really angry at the college system for getting you in hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of debt, like I was. Whatever it is, that's your niche. Because here's the thing, there's an audience for everything on YouTube, and I mean everything. There are channels out there dedicated to watching paint dry, literally. So trust me, your passion, no matter how weird or obscure, has an audience. And that audience is just waiting for you to start creating content for them. Now here's a pro tip. Look for niches that have a high search volume but low competition. Use tools like Google Trends or TubeBuddy to research potential niches, and then look for topics that people are searching for but not many creators are covering. That's your golden ticket right there. And remember, the riches are in the niches. So don't be afraid to get specific. Instead of just cooking, maybe focus on vegan keto recipes for busy professionals. Okay, maybe that's too specific, but I think you get my point. Generally speaking, the more specific you get, the easier it is to stand out and attract your ideal audience. All right, moving on to step two. But first, let me know in the comments what niche you're thinking of pursuing and also what video format you want to do because there's a lot of different video formats. And if you don't know which one you want to do, by the way, there's actually a free training, which I'll put down in the description and the pinned comment below. Okay, step two creating your channel. Now this might seem like a no brainer, but trust me, there's more to it than just clicking create channel. First things first, choose a name that reflects your niche and your personality and try to integrate either your real name or a nickname into the brand. Think of something catchy, something that'll stick into people's minds like hummus, for instance. For instance, if your name is Penelope, why not name your channel Penny Pincher? See what I did there? It tells people exactly what the channel is about and it's memorable. Next, let's create a killer channel banner and profile picture. These are like your channel storefront. They need to look professional and eye-catching. And you definitely don't need to be a graphic design whiz for this. Use tools like Canva or PicMonkey. They have tons of templates you can customize. And a big secret here is you wanna make sure to tell people exactly what you do in the channel banner. And this can be as simple as saying, I help X do Y by Z. For instance, one of my clients helps accountants become what's known as a financial controller, which is a very high paid accountant. So his banner might be, I help accountants get paid more by becoming financial controllers. Next is the about section. And this is prime real estate people. Use this space to tell potential subscribers who you are, what your channel is about, and why they should care. Oh, and don't forget to add your social media links and any other ways that people can connect with you. And this is really crucial for building your brand across all platforms. Lastly, and this is important, set up your channel for monetization from day one. Yes, you read that right, from day one. Now, you can't join the YouTube monetization program unless you have a 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. However, what you can do is you can promote either your own products or affiliate products in your description and in the pinned comment from your videos. And you can also put them in the about section. And by setting this up now, you're gonna be ready to start earning right away. And trust me, future you will thank present you for this foresight. The only other thing you need to do is actually to tell people to look in the description or the comment section and preferably tell them to click. And I know this doesn't make any sense, but simply telling people to do that will probably 10x the amount of people that actually do click on the link. All right, so that's step two, dusted and done. On to step three, where things start to get really interesting. Step three is where the rubber meets the road, planning your content. But Shane, I just wanna turn the camera on and start talking. Hold your horses, cowboy. That's a recipe for disaster. Successful YouTube channels don't just happen out of thin air. They are planned. So first up, you need to decide on your content pillars. These are the main topics or themes that your channel will focus on. For example, if your niche is fitness, your content pillars might be workout routines, nutrition tips, and motivation. Once you have your pillars, start brainstorming video ideas for each one and aim for at least 20 ideas per pillar. 
Yes, 20, I'm not kidding. And this might seem like a lot, but trust me, you'll thank me later when you're not scrambling for ideas at the last minute. Now, my favorite method for creating content is what's known as the icon method. And this is basically where you look for smaller channels that made content that got a lot of views inside of your niche, of course, despite the fact that their content was either mediocre or not that good. Whenever you find one of those, just think of it like almost finding a diamond, okay? It's like a diamond in the rough that is going to be incredibly valuable and it's gonna be very likely that you're also going to be able to get views because you also have a small channel. Next, I want you to create a content calendar. Decide how often you're going to post. I recommend at least once a week when you're starting out. And I believe when you're starting out, the absolute perfect amount of videos to post per week is three. One on Monday, one on Wednesday, and one on Friday. However, consistency is key on YouTube and it's better to post one great video a week than to post sporadically. And consistency just on a psychological level will help you get success as well. Think about it. If you've ever gotten in shape, it's probably because you consistently went to the gym or consistently worked out. If you sporadically do it, it is incredibly difficult to get in really good shape. And it's the same exact thing with YouTube. Now you might be thinking, Shane, how in the world am I going to post once a week or even three times a week? That sounds like an unbelievable amount of work. Well, here's where the magic happens. Batch creation. Don't just create one video at a time. That is amateur hour. Set aside a day or two each month to film multiple videos. This way you're always ahead of schedule and you're not stressed about creating content at the last minute. Plus, it allows you to maintain a consistent posting schedule, even if life gets in the way. And remember, YouTube rewards consistency. The algorithm loves channels that post regularly. Think about it. If your favorite show didn't consistently come out with episodes at a time that you would expect them to, you would be incredibly disappointed. And it's the same thing for your viewers. So treat your YouTube channel like a show and consistently post at the same time every single week. Oh, and one more thing. Don't forget to plan your thumbnails and titles. These are just as important as the content itself, if not more important, if I'm being honest. And they're honestly what makes people click on your video in the first place. So spend time crafting eye-catching thumbnails and click-worthy titles. But remember, no clickbait. Your content needs to deliver on what the title and the thumbnail promise. All right, that's step three done. You've got your content planned out. Now it's time for the fun part. Step four, create your content. But Shane, I don't have fancy equipment. Well, guess what? You don't need it. When I started, I literally just recorded recorded my computer screen at the local library because I didn't have a phone or a computer. And then when I really started taking YouTube seriously, I was filming on a potato. I mean, an old camera. And look at me now, still filming on a slightly newer potato, just a little bit nicer. No, but seriously, don't let equipment hold you back. Your smartphone is more than enough to get started. I know channels that have gotten to 5 million subscribers just filming on their smartphones. What matters most is the value you're providing, not the quality of your camera. Now let's talk about scripting. Some people like to wing it, but I recommend at least having an outline. It keeps you focused and ensures you cover all the main points. However, as a total beginner, I don't recommend making scripts word for word. It's incredibly difficult to read your scripts out word for word, plus it comes across very unnatural on camera as well. So by making an outline, you will get the structure of your script down, and then you can kind of just talk about it off the top of your head. Plus, it helps you avoid those awkward um and ah moments. Now, when you're filming, remember the three E's, energy, and enthusiasm and engagement. Bring the energy. YouTube is not a radio. People are watching you. So show enthusiasm for your topic. If you're not excited about it, why should your viewers be? Now, you don't have to be a dancing clown or anything like that, but show a little bit of excitement and engage with your audience. Talk to the camera like you're talking to a friend. Use phrases like you guys or let me know in the comments because it makes viewers feel like they're a part of a community. Now here's a pro tip. The first 15 seconds of your video are absolutely crucial. That's when most people decide whether to keep watching or click away. So so start with a bang. Tease what's coming up in the video, make a bold statement, ask a provocative question, establish your authority on the subject. Oh, and don't forget to ask people to subscribe. I know, I know, it feels awkward at first, but trust me, it works. Just don't overdo it. Which, by the way, you know, subscribe. And you can do it once throughout the video and that should be enough. All right, that's the basics of content creation covered. But we're not done yet. The next step is where things get really interesting. Step five is all about optimization. This is where we make the YouTube algorithm our best friend. Now, first things first, First, let's talk about titles. Your titles need to be two things, catchy and searchable. It needs to grab people's attention, but it also needs to include keywords that people are actually searching for. So you can use tools like TubeBuddy or vidIQ to research popular keywords in your niche. I personally prefer vidIQ, I think it's amazing. And then I also use another keyword research tool called Keywords Everywhere, because it'll show you how many people are searching as you actually type in keywords on YouTube. Then incorporate these keywords into your title in a natural way. For instance, instead of how I lost weight, you could try 
by how I lost 30 pounds in 30 days, my weight loss journey. See the difference? The second one is more specific and it includes searchable terms. Then use the first couple lines to give a brief enticing summary of your video. Then include a full keyword rich description of what viewers will learn. And don't forget to include timestamps for different sections of your video if it's appropriate. Now you might be noticing that down below on this video, I don't actually have these things. And the reason for that is because I have a big channel and I don't need to do it anymore. But when you have a small channel, this really, really helps. And it not only helps viewers navigate your content, but it also gives YouTube more information about what your video contains. Now let's talk about tags. Tags aren't that important. Don't waste your time with them. Let's skip to the next thing. Don't just optimize your individual videos, optimize your entire channel. Use keywords in your channel name, channel description, and playlist titles if possible. And also you can add keywords to what's known as the channel keywords. And this is all going to help YouTube categorize your channel correctly and show you to the right people. All right, that's optimization covered, but we're not done yet. The next step is where things really start to heat up. Step six is to promote your content. Because if a video drops on YouTube and no one's around to watch it, does it actually make a sound? First up, social media. I know, I know you're probably thinking, but Shane, I don't have any followers. Well, guess what? You don't need them, at least not at first. Use hashtags to get your content in front of people who are interested in your niche, engage with other content creators in your space, comment on their posts, share their content, build relationships. And this isn't just about promotion. It's about building a community. Next step is to post on forums and online communities. You can find forums or subreddits related to your niche, become an active member, and then share your expertise. Now you don't want to just spam your videos across the internet. That's not going to work. You actually want to become a member of these forums, read other people's posts, share your own perspectives, provide value to the community, and then guess what? They probably won't mind it if you post a video every now and then. Plus, it'll help you a ton with doing market research for what you should put in your videos and what videos to actually make in the first place. All right, that's promotion covered, but we're not done yet. The final step is where the rubber really meets the road. This is where we start turning all the hard work into cold, hard cash. And that's step seven, monetize your channel properly. This is where we turn your passion passion into profit. Now I know what you're thinking, but Shane, I thought we had to wait until 1000 subscribers and 4000 hours of watch time to start making money. Well, my friends, that's where you're wrong. You can actually start monetizing your channel from day one. And the first way is affiliate marketing. This is where you promote other people's products and get a commission when someone buys through your link. And of course, you want to include affiliate links in your descriptions. But here's the key. Only promote products you genuinely believe in. Your audience's trust is worth way more than the little amount of money you're going to get from a commission. Next, let's talk about creating your own product. For instance, let's say you talk about accounting, right? You're an accountant and you talk about how to get an accounting job. You could include a digital product where it is basically an accountant's resume. You could sell it for $10, link it in the description, mention it in your video, and I guarantee you a bunch of people are going to end up buying it. And the next one is probably the best way to make money when you're a small channel, and that is offering coaching. So you can actually just offer one-on-one -on -one coaching to people on whatever subject that you're talking about, and I recommend charging at least $100 an hour to do this. And if you think $100 an hour is a lot, there's a lot of business coaches out there that charge $20,000 an hour. So $100 an hour actually isn't that much if you truly are an expert on the subject. And I started a brand new channel from absolute scratch, Shane Hummus Unfiltered, and I made it to 30K per month by offering coaching. And if you want to check out my coaching, you can check that out down in the description in the pinned comment below. That's the exact offer that I made 30K per month with. And I was actually helping people to start YouTube channels. And if you want to check out that channel where I talk exclusively about how to start a YouTube channel, grow a YouTube channel, and then actually make money on it, you can check out my channel by clicking right here.